Court calls the case of the people versus Devin Julia Martinez. Caitlin Kirby on behalf of the people. Edward Drukas on behalf of Devin Martinez. Okay, what are we doing? Ms. Martinez, state your name, please. Devin Julia Meisner Martinez. Uh, Your Honor, there has been a global resolution that is in the works. Um, she was with in front of you last Thursday, had matters that were bound over to circuit court. Those are going to be a part of the agreement. We're asking for an adjournment until after uh, September 11th, um, which is her pretrial date up in circuit court. During the matter of September 20th, 2023, 9 a.m., Bond, continue. No, no, no. I, Thank you. No. And, and your honor, if I could address Bond. Go for it. Your honor, she's got a 5,000 cash or surety bond. It's my understanding in this case, or a 10% bond. And she's unable to post that. This is the only matter that is holding her. Um, she does have a stable location to go to. Um, she's provided me with an address. Um, she is um, subleasing an apartment. Um, she doesn't want to lose that sublease. Um, and she understands that she has several cases that she's worked this agreement. Um, and she doesn't want to blow that up by not showing up to court. And she attests that she'll show up to her next court appearance. Um, she's got two matters next week. Matters that she's pleading to on the 11th, he said. Yes, Your Honor. There are my understanding of there are three charges that she'll be pleading to up in circuit court. Um, and several of her cases are being dismissed. She's got PRs on those cases? Yeah, she's got PRs on every case. Any response from the people? I, I personally have no faith that Ms. Martinez will show up to court regardless of the outstanding global resolution that Mr. Ganatra has offered her. Um, I would ask that her bond remain the same. And if she is to plead, this case would be dismissed and all her conditions of bond would be um, done on the 11th and she would be released. So I, I, given the history of this matter and the history that this court has with Ms. Martinez, I really, I, I don't think a PR is appropriate. Um, may I speak? Yeah. If you want. I'm sorry. If you May want to speak, you can. If it's your counsel's probably telling you not to, but he told me he I, did. Um, he did tell me to. Um, I told her to be so, brief. Yes, um, I have an understanding that we've come to a resolution about um, hitting, and um, it's a it's a sure thing that I will be attending court on the 11th. As the only reason that I didn't prior was because my phone was stolen and I have um, since reordered my phone. It's come in um, two weeks ago, um, on the actually rather a week ago on the 20th on Sunday at my lo local Metro PCS. And aside from that, I'm trying to, um, I'm trying to not get evicted from my place and I need to go back to work. I have two jobs, two cell phones and, a ho and stable housing. And um, I'm really looking forward to going back to my job. And I was hoping to um, be released today. I have between March of 2022 and July 19, 2023, I've had to issue seven bench warrants. I understand this, Your Honor. Seven, um, seven bench warrants. Those are all not about a phone missing. Um, this is. They actually were. Seven, seven. Okay, if you want to talk, you go ahead. I gave you your opportunity, but if you want to keep going, keep going. May I honestly speak, Your, your Honor? I don't. Ms. Martinez, I think you you you've spoken. Um, let's let have the judge make its ruling. Um, I just wanted to say that it was about always with um not having a phone and stable housing, and now that I finally have those, I would really like the chance to prove to all of you um that. I definitely will make it to court. Um, I've made it to court more times than I've missed. I know that, and I will not. Now that I have stable, secure housing, aside from that, I also have two jobs I'm looking forward to going back to, and I really don't want to lose this house because then I will be more dependable than dependent, and I would like to remain that way. And I really um, know that I know that I messed up that 
Um, but I also did think that I, I filed a, a warrant recall, though it didn't go through due to bad Wi-Fi. And I really apologize to the court, um, although I will definitely not be missing another hearing at all. And I know that there will be large consequences if I don't. And I certainly will. I promise. I swear. On, on the Bible. And to everyone in my life. On my life. Mr. Drukas, is she done now? Yes, Your Honor. Turn it out to the 20th. I'll grant defendant a PR bond, but that's only effective at September 12, 2023 at 9 a.m., the day after she's going to enter the pleas in the global resolution, and she can have a PR on this case. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. The People versus Sarhai, or Sari, Martin. Conrad Siller on behalf of Pittsfield Township. He's here to be Okay. Hello. Hello. Good morning. What's your name? <laughs> Sarah. It's Sarah. It's Sarah? Yes. Hold on. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> These names today confuse me. So is it S-A-R-A-I? Yep. Yep. But it's, it's just pronounced Sarah. Sarah. Yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm just going to let you know now, if I ever have to call it again, I'm going to mess it up. So no. <laughs> I'm just going to apologize up front. OK. Sounds All good. right. So you're here. OK, I, you were arraigned back in on August 16th. Did you wait? Did you not want an attorney to represent you and help you through this, ma'am? No, not that. No, I did not. You don't want an attorney? No, sir. Okay, so what are you going to do on this? Um, I was just going to be honest because I did make a mistake. So, Okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Before you say any more, mm -hmm. um, you're... I don't, anything you say can be used against you. I, I want you to know that, first of all. But you don't have a previous record, right? No, no, sir. Okay. And so given, do you her, know her, given her age, Your Honor, she'd be eligible for a special consideration. Yeah. So, Ms. Martin, do you know what those special considerations are? I do not. So... Let's see. Who's going to explain that to you or have you figure that out? Um, I could ask a parent, but I just wasn't informed. Seriously? <laughs> Is your parent a lawyer? No. <laughs> then how are they going to know? Uh, probably a public, probably an attorney. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what a concept. So <laughs> if you had an attorney, they could probably explain, gee, what what kinds of things are available to me so that this doesn't like mess up my life entirely, right? Yes. So do your parents know about this charge? Yes, they do. She um they were, she was they're real the happy about. Since yeah, okay, I never mind. You don't have to answer that. I, I'm a parent, <laughs> so I know how they feel. Um, not that my kids have well, oh, never mind. Um <laughs> So, so Sarah, with an I, do you want an attorney? Yes, I would. There you go. Okay. <laughs> See? That Thank was, you. That was a long way for an easy answer. All right. <laughs> this, this becomes a public defender case, please. Good afternoon, Your Honor. Assistant Public Defender Lauren Perry on behalf of Sarah with an I, Martin. <laughs> <laughs> um, I couldn't resist. Um, we, uh, I'm sorry, Your Honor. I don't even know if we got to a reading in this case. Um, I'm sorry. I, did we? She did we... was arraigned on the 16th. Oh, okay, okay. And by in front of the magistrate, decided she didn't want an attorney because 
she was going to figure it out herself or ask a parent. I don't know. Call a friend. She was going to do something. And now she wants to have an attorney, maybe advise her through the process. So, so her bond will continue. This now becomes a PD case. And let me adjourn this out. Perfect. So you could explain to her, she says she has no record, so you can explain to her what options might be available. Because she wanted to come here and be real honest. And I don't know what that was all about. But anyway, I'm going to adjourn this. <laughs> I'm going to adjourn this out to September 20th, 2023, 9 a.m. Or as your Zoom invite indicates. Oh. Hey, on behalf of people. Um, sir, can you unmute? Okay. All right. Okay, can you, okay, state your name. Zachariah Horowski Dennis, Your Honor. All right. Sir, you are before the court on a two count misdemeanor complaint. The first um, charge on that complaint, well, all of this alleges. On June 28, 2023, at the location of the Meyer store at 3825 Carpenter Road in Pittsfield Township. The first charge is that of retail fraud in the third degree. Do you understand the nature of that charge, sir? Uh, yeah, you understand. You understand that? Kind of. Um... Thank okay, you. well, let me just say that that the, the complaint says that while Myers was open to the public, that you did steal property from Myers that was less than valued at less than two hundred dollars. You understand that charge? Yeah, I understand. Now. OK, that's a misdemeanor punishable by up to 93 days in jail up to a $500 fine plus court cost. The fine could be increased if three times the value of the property taken. If that's greater than $200, that number becomes the maximum fine. You understand that, sir? I, I do know, Your Honor. Okay. The second count on the complaint alleges that on that same date and at that same location that you were a disorderly person because you were drunk. You understand that charge? I, I do now. Okay. That's a misdemeanor, and it's punishable by up to 90 days in jail and a $500 fine plus court cost. You understand that, sir? Yeah, yeah, Your Honor. Okay. So, sir, the first question that I have for you is, do you wish to be represented by an attorney? Yeah, I do. You do? Okay. This is a public defender case. Good morning, Assistant Public Defender Lauren Perny on behalf of Mr. Horska Dennis. Uh, we will waive any uh, further reading and stand mute to those charges, Your Honor. Defendant having waived formal reading, standing mute. Court will enter a not guilty plea. Um, you're obviously going to need a, an adjournment. Sir, are you held on anything else? Any other charges? No, I just got out of a court court uh, uh, a court case. Did, did not, they just gave me a PR bond? I was wondering if that's possible. Yeah, I could maybe run a current or something like that, maybe. I'm not sure how y'all want to do it. Uh, my dad, he's a retired veteran. He, uh, I'm the only one there at this house that lives with them that physically helps him because he... Uh, Okay, uh, hold on. So you just got out of another court hearing? Yeah, just a second ago until I found that I had court with you, Your Honor. Oh. And they just gave me a PR. Okay. Who? That was 15th District, Your Honor. Um, he originally had a $500 bond, but his court date was today. Um, he has a $10,000 bond on a retail fraud first degree um felony that's up on the 14th and then he has two five thousand dollar ten percent bonds out of this court um and the next date is 9 20. he's also on detox currently 
Okay, so he already has stages set for 920 that he has bones on. Correct. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set his bond, in this case, at a $5,000, 10% bond. I'll order standard conditions, including no assault or behavior, no alcohol, recreational marijuana, or any illegal drugs. He's not to enter any Myers Meyer store in the state of Michigan. All right. His, he did a PBT, Your Honor, and it was 0.11. 0.11? Yes. All right. And... I will also indicate that um, we'll do a community corrections order for a sober link at this time, but I don't think he's going anywhere anytime soon. All right. Uh, and this one, this case will be adjourned with his other cases. I'll adjourn the pretrial to September 20th, 2023 at nine. So that means uh, that, that they got to, uh, you want me to sit here in a jail? Well, I don't want you to, but you will be because um, you have other cases. Hold on. You have other cases that you have to deal with. Some of them are set before me on the 20th. And then there are other cases that are set on, a, I think, at a different date before me. Oh, well, I mean, I, I got, I, I'm trying to, I was hoping you could bless me with one, one PR this time, because I, and, and I, I, I promise I'm a, I'm a, so I can come back, because my dad, I'm the only one physically helping him, that they don't got nobody else helping him, Your Honor. Okay, he, sir, he, hang on, here's yeah. what I'm going to do, I'm not going to, I'm not saying no to that, but I'm not going to do it right now, so what I want you to do is talk with your attorney if they can arrange a, with the prosecutor a way to get you released or some agreement, then I'm not, I probably won't have a problem with that. I mean, but right now, even if I gave you a PR on this case, you're going to be held because you got to see me on the other cases. What do you mean? Mr. Hersko, Dennis, I'll come see you at the jail and we'll, we'll go over everything together. Okay. My dad, he won't, he won't, he won't make it without me because he's only, he's going to have he's going to end up in the hospital possibly dead if I don't if I'm not there helping him physically okay your attorney will be down to see you thank you